there's been a big conversation recently around ACL injuries in sport. And from reading your work, it seems that this increase in women getting ACL injuries links somewhat to this Q angle situation. As a man, my hips don't widen. My legs are effectively quite straight. From my hip down to my toes, it's quite straight, which means that I'm going to be more sturdy, say if I jump up in the air. When I land, the center of gravity being straight means that I'm less likely to get injured. Is that right? Right? Yeah, because your forces are going to be in a more linear fashion. So you have more even distribution of the force through the knee. Mm -hmm. But for women, our hips are wider, so we have more of an angle to the knee. And the forces aren't distributed evenly when we land, as well as the quad dominance that develops for women. Their quads a lot more than our glutes and our hamstrings by default, as well as men do. We're being pulled forward more because center of gravity again is lower and you tend to lean forward. When we're looking at ACL injury, again, it comes down to one, training stress, two, mechanics. And if we're not taught again how to land, how to run, how to jump with the new angles, it predisposes people to severe ACL injury. And how much more likely is a woman to have an ACL injury than a man? It is a higher rate. We see a three to four to one ratio of ACL tears of women versus men. So a 300% difference. Yeah. 